Uh, meanwhile, former college swimmer Riley Gaines hidden back at one Democratic squad member for calling her testimony in the fight for fairness in women's sports transphobic. Watch this back and forth. We're likely going to be forced to listen to transphobic bigotry. Unsafe, unfair, and discriminatory practices towards women must stop. Inclusion cannot be prioritized over safety and fairness. And Ranking Member Lee, if my tes testimony makes me transphobic, then I believe your opening monologue makes you a misogynist. Whoa. Outkick contributor Riley Gaines joins us right now with reaction. Riley, good morning to you. Good morning. How you doing? I'm doing okay. Was that an ad lib line? Yes, uh, of course, I was not prepared to add that into my testimony. But I'll tell you, listening to Representative Lee in her opening monologue, uh, as you heard in that brief clip and, and what I heard for several more minutes, how she, of course, uh, my stance is transphobic bigotry. You know, what about the mental health of trans individuals? What about, you know, who, how, the harm that they're, that's being done to, to these individuals? And so listening to this, uh, it, it, D, I was, I felt compelled to, to call her misogynist. And I'll tell you where that line of reasoning came from, because if it's immediately deemed anti-trans to take the stand that I've taken, uh, which I believe is a pro-woman stance, wouldn't it be anti-woman to be pro-trans? Uh, so that was kind yeah. of my, my line of reasoning. Well, you know, and the whole hearing was about uh, proposed changes during the Biden administration to Title IX. And what it would essentially do is it would outlaw banning trans students from joining teams. Uh, you have been squarely against this. Title IX, you know, Title IX was created to prevent discrimination based on sex in education. There are two sexes. There are just two sexes. It's male and female. So when you're talking about Title IX, it's male and female, but there is now a lot of uh, talk about genders and other things. Absolutely, and you're exactly right. This rewrite, uh, I believe, is criminal, and it's an abomination to the original intent of Title IX. But I'll clarify, it doesn't necessarily ban trans athletes from competing. It just bans them from competing unfairly and unsafely in the category that does not align with their sex. Uh, of course, every single person, uh, regardless of sexual orientation or gender identity or race yeah. or what sport you play, everyone in this country should have a space to play sports. Uh, but again, we right. cannot prioritize inclusion over safety and fairness. And that's what this new rewrite of Title IX that the Biden administration and Democrats in both the U.S. House and the U.S. Senate are pushing for. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmey. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.